Hello friends, good morning. The message for today is based on the verse in Proverbs chapter 30 verse 8, the last part where Solomon said, feed me with food convenient for me. This should be our daily prayer, to have no more than is convenient for us, so that we will not become gluten to prevent us from going into excess that leads us to sin, so that we will not eat so much that even our sleep will be disturbed while our system is working so hard when it should be resting. If we ask God to grant us only what we need, not only on the food department, but also in all areas of our life, we will have plenty. We will live well. God will not give us misery, but will provide us all that we need, the necessary comforts, the necessary health, the necessary food. Nothing will be wanting. Solomon, the wisest man on earth, would never have made a request like this if it was absurd or bad for him. He made a request that he knew was wise. Feed me with food that is convenient for me. We may learn to trust our Lord and trust that the convenient that He will give us is not a poor convenient. Do you remember when Jesus said, Look at the lilies in the field. They don't work. They don't worry. And no one, not even Solomon, in all his riches, dressed so beautifully as they. Look at the birds, they fly from one place to another, and their food is sure. If God takes such good care of the blade of grass that is here today and gone tomorrow, how much more will He care for us? He will not let us want for needs. Do you remember the people in the desert? Forty years they traveled, and then those 40 years, their shoes and their dress did not become worn. God took care of His people and continues to take care of them. For each of us, He cares. Sometimes we worry too much. We have the feeling that the promises that He has made will not be fulfilled in us, in our life. Sister Ruth shares that in her life, many times she had little, and that when sisters around her found this out, they asked her, why didn't you say something? We could have helped you. Her answer was, I was not in need. She tells that for 10 years she had no mattress to sleep on, and only one burner in her stove. The only want and need she had during those years was for prayers for her daughter. Her daughter was involved with drugs, with homosexualism, with many things that were taking her deep down into sin. It was for Josiane that she needed help. All Sister Ruth wanted so much was prayer for her daughter, because the prayer of the just availed much. The mattress, the burner, those things were not important. At the right time, God would provide. Food, she always had. God never let her go hungry. He always provided the food convenient for her. The prayers for Josiane were heard. Maybe not the way that Sister Ruth would have wanted or asked for. She would have liked for her daughter to be with her today, working together in the journey. But the prayers were answered. She sleeps in the Lord, and when Jesus comes, Josiane will wake up to meet her Savior. She will resurrect with a glorified body, with no burn marks, with no mental health issues or diseases, no depression. She will be a perfect human being because God saved her. This, and only this, is the want that she had, that Sister Ruth had. This is the important thing we need. 
salvation and is what we should be seeking after. To have eternal life and to have it abundantly. May God give us what we need for today, what is convenient for us. And may we learn that what is convenient for us and needful for today, it's a lot. It's what we need to live comfortably. For God does not make us destitute. We need to pray to God and do all that we can so that He can bless us in our lives. May we have wisdom, faith, and love to God above all things and to our neighbor as to ourselves. May we respect and obey the laws of health as well as the moral laws of God. In this way, living only the time necessary upon this earth and then have eternal life. Pray for me, and I will pray for you, for each of you. I'll be with you again tomorrow, and until then, have a blessed day.